Hi everyone, this is David with Tigner Adventures and today we're going to work on this microwave right here. It's uh, It quit. Uh, we actually installed this right after we bought our motorhome. It, uh, the one that was in there wasn't any good and so we found this one at Camping World and it's been over three years and now it's having an issue. Those of you that are uh, new to our channel, welcome, and those of you that are returning, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about how easy it is to just replace this microwave that we actually replaced three years ago. We bought this from Camping World and for $200, nice little deal, it had a lot of features to it, and so it looked kind of exciting, it uh, has a little convection uh, oven thing with it and everything. Basically all we've done is use it as a microwave. For the last three years and it's done very well so this microwave basically is about the same size as a small microwave you could buy in your house the difference with this one is it's got this little uh, guard that goes around it and that actually allows you to uh, mount the microwave and put it in there so that it doesn't move around while you're driving and so we're going to um, go ahead and take the screws out of this and pull this out of here we actually need to figure out how big it is. I don't remember the, you know, the wattage that it draws, um, and so we've got to pull that out to kind of check that out. I have measured around the opening to kind of figure out what uh, there might be out there, and so it's a little limiting. I don't want to get too small of a microwave, but I got to, I want to get as most power I can for the size that I'm going to get. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, We'll pull that out, we'll check and see what all those settings are, and maybe we can kind of figure out if we can find a replacement for it. All right, so I have taken all the screws out of this. Uh, one thing I haven't done yet is I forgot to unplug it. So it does uh, plug in in the side closet here where all our other stuff is, and it does have a surge protector. I bought a little single surge protector for it. So I'm gonna pull that out and show you all right, so I have gone ahead, this is a little surge protector, just a single plug surge protector. I have pulled that out, and so now you can tell my microwave is off. And so we're going to go ahead and just slide it out of the cupboard area here and get access to see what the model number is and sizing and things like that. Some metal in there, but Okay, that wasn't as easy as I might have thought. Apparently that uh, little side thing, I don't know what the value of that was, but I bent it to get it in there and it must have just popped into place, which made it a lot harder getting it out. So anyway, we're ready to check out the what kind of microwave it is, or how big. All right, so I had to take the outside cover off just to get to, so I can push this thing down to get it out of the hole, because it's quite a bit larger than the hole. And it was just a baffle that just kind of kept the air flow within that little area. So anyway, that's out of there, and we're gonna check out the back. So we've got the model number there, Dometic model number, and it's a single phase, pulls up to 1450 watts, but it's only a thousand watt output. Um, so the little ones I've been looking at were 900. So I wanted to make sure I don't get anything smaller than what I got. And uh, so that's what we want is at least a thousand watts. 
as I mentioned, um, this is the second one. When we first bought this unit, we took out the microwave that was in here, and I had to actually cut this board back to get the new one to fit. So if you look, that little brace is actually screwed there in a couple places. All I do is unscrew it, and then I just used a uh, skill saw and cut that back so the new one would fit. Um, it's acting like a little baffle, which is the same as what the metal baffle on the top of the microwave is doing here. So I think it's just kind of the same idea. This is they had that in there, so that's what actually made it kind of tough to get out was because when I put this in, I actually pushed this over like this, slid it in, and then it popped back up again. And so when I was trying to pull it back out, I couldn't remember, you know, this was three years ago. So things had changed, or at least I forgot. We took off and headed for uh, Camping World. I found out they have the same one we already had, and this has lasted three years, so I couldn't find anything else that was that same size, so I thought that was, might as well just replace it with the same thing. Unfortunately, we are about 45 miles north of, uh, you know, in northern Utah. So by the time we took off and we we're just part way there, I looked at the clock and it's like, oh shoot, they are going to be closed before we actually get there. So we turned around and came home. And today we actually went to Camping World and picked up the uh, microwave instead. And so you can see here, Then I've got the new microwave and uh, we didn't plan very well ahead because uh, our car acts as a, uh, as a tow vehicle and it acts as a storage shed basically. And so we have our bikes in the back seat and we have a cooler here so when we're far away from the grocery store we can bring our things back cold. Uh, I mean this thing was completely full and uh, no place to put the, the microwave. I mean so you can see I had to take everything out of here and now we got the microwave in here but there was a little bit of uh, jockeying around to get that taken care of so I guess uh, Ninette's the Houdini on the refrigerator and I'm the Houdini when it comes to the car so anyway we have it here we're gonna go ahead and pull it out and let's go ahead and unbox it So here's one, which is the bottom area for directing airflow out the front on from the bottom. <coughs> here's our other little baffle that we had uh, screwed on there. So we'll put that back on. Here's another little baffle for the very back. <coughs> so take that out of there. This is that top piece on the other one that directed their flow out the front. And here is the front face plate. So they actually, they call this the, the trim kit. So the microwave goes inside of here and that's what holds it in there so it don't go flying out when you push on the brake. And here is the microwave. So there is the microwave. So again, exact copy. And so we will go ahead and put those little trim pieces on. We have to screw all the little pieces in. And uh, then we'll be ready to go. Now I do want to make a little bit of a note here that um, it's very well packaged and when you open it up everything is packaged inside same way, very well um, protected. Uh, you come with a manual that has the instructions on putting it back together or putting all those baffles in and everything. And then we have our, this is our turntable. And that's actually taped along with all the screws to put in the uh, all those baffles and the trim kit. And then our warranty card. Now, 
we did buy this uh, as I mentioned before we bought this at um, Camping World three years ago uh, for it was on sale at the time for um, just just barely I think it was like 210 bucks and uh, this time it's been three years and the same microwave on sale for 279 so not too bad for three years difference in price um, it looks um, looks like it's uh, all ready to go other than just putting those trim kits on so so we're pretty excited Nine that's gonna be really excited to get her microwave back and uh, we'll see how that all works out it does come with a, a warranty but I did purchase the Camping World warranty for two years for forty dollars I figured for two years of just taking it back in if I have any kind of issues or anything was well worth the forty dollars and uh, so we'll see that's kind of the plan right now so I'm gonna go ahead and put the trim kit on here and then we'll show you how easy it is just to put it back in again I did all the modifications before this is the same exact unit so just pulling it out and putting it back in is it's kind of like a no-brainer so anyway that's where we're at and uh, we'll get working on that okay we do have it all put back together and I did cheat a couple times there and run over and look at the old one instead of looking through the book again because I went through all that last time so I had to make some modifications to make it work a little bit on the last one so I wanted to make sure this one mimicked it perfectly um, other than getting this upside down to begin with um, everything turned out well so um, again when I go to slide this in I'm gonna have to push this over to the side here and then I'll just kind of push it back up again but uh, other than that it should just slide right back in there uh, just as uh, much as just as easy as the other one came out well the other one didn't come out very easy because it kept hitting this but in our case it'll be a lot better so because uh, now we're just going in so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in and uh, we'll uh, get it all done there we just have to uh, make sure when we do that that we make sure we put our extension our cord here back through the wall where it's gonna go I also made a little modification here I had to bend this up so this is actually bent up here like this so it's out of the way and can slide in there just fine so that makes that workable so now this is exactly how the old one was and so we should be able to get it to go in there pretty easy we just need to slide it up in there oh. that's a long ways up there all right there we go and that just pops up there pull our power plug out here Whew. so that came through that little spot so we are back where we're supposed to be and ready to screw this back in the holes they were in before all right you can see I've got it all mounted back into the uh, box here um, it took two of us uh, definitely a lot easier with Ninette helping me because it was tough um, and the power cord is through the wall into the other cabinet where there is a plug So I'm going to put this little surge protector back on there again. This is nice to have just in case there are any surges um, but uh, Of course, it doesn't really help with uh, brownouts. It's just for surges um, <clears throat> Another thing I wanted to mention was I have now pulled out the owner registration card <laughs> And one of the things, I mean, it wants the model number, but it also wants the serial number, which is on the back of this. So just a tip that um, before you do this, you know, it's a good idea to get that information off of the unit before you install it. However, if you look here on this box, I was able to match up. It doesn't say serial number, but by looking at my old unit, I was able to uh, class to but by looking at the old unit, I was able to verify that this is the serial number for uh, this new unit. So uh, it's important to get it registered. So that's a, a little tip for you guys, just to make sure you get the right one when you're doing it. 
All right, so we have some Orville Redenbacher popcorn, and we are going to set that in here on the turntable and close this. And we do have a popcorn button up here. So here is, do we have to hit start? Mm -hmm. Popcorn and start. So for two minutes and 30 seconds, it's going to cook our popcorn. And uh, hopefully we hear some popcorn popping. Okay, with that said, it's, it's getting the popcorn going here. I noticed that we are now drawing about 15 amps of power um, as it's uh, getting ready to pop that. Uh, the issue I had before is when she went to pop, uh, or actually just warm up coffee, uh, it just wasn't working very good. And when I looked at my meter for the number of amps drawn, it was only drawing 6 amps. And so the fact that we're now drawing 15 is a really good sign that uh, we're a lot further ahead than we were. All right, hey, we are hearing some popping, so this is pretty darn exciting. That is smelling really great. I can smell popcorn, it's exciting. We got three seconds left. There it goes. Now, this microwave, actually, the fan keeps running after it's done to get all the stuff out of there. That's what's coming out these vents here. You can feel the air coming through them. So it's just cooling the unit down, plus getting the moisture out of there. So. We're going to go ahead and open that up and look at that. We have some popcorn, so we get popcorn tonight. This completes this project and we have successfully replaced our microwave. Now, this microwave actually quit uh, three or four weeks ago when we just not too long right after we left Pacific City. We we're having issues there and that's how it kind of alerted us to having the power and checking things out anyway. Um, I do carry one of these. Uh, digital monitors uh, that uh, there's different ways of checking power they have some where you just plug it in and the lights pop up and say hey everything's okay uh, this actually goes through and tells you the frequency the uh, voltage levels uh, it gives you everything and tells you if there's a ground and things and alarms if there's a problem well unfortunately I didn't check that at that uh, at that pedestal before I plugged into there so uh, consequently the uh, microwave quit and maybe it's been going out for a while I don't know it's hard to say we typically like to run off our solar all the time and then that way it's always on our inverter and we don't have to worry about things but anyway that's it's all done so <laughs> we replaced it it's working great the popcorn was good and uh, and so we are really happy with this uh, replacement and and of course it was the one that was in there before so our replacement of just putting you know replacing the old one with this one was the same thing so it just kind of went back in the same identical way so that's nice nice easy project I just want to say thanks for watching this uh, I know it's only for certain people it's it's not everyone's gonna replace some microwave but at some point if you do then you can refer back to this this video and these different parts that I have uh, even the one from Camping World whatever if you look in the comments below there are links on Amazon for everything that we uh, have purchased and if you do click on any of those links then we do get a small percentage of your sale it doesn't cost you anything to use any of our affiliate links for that or for software packages we use or anything we do appreciate all of you uh, subscribers that have watched this and anybody new uh, that's uh, watching the things we do appreciate your time uh, time's very important and so hopefully this gives you an idea how to do this and saves saves you a little bit of time that's the whole key to putting these videos together so this completes this video so at this point we'll just say that we'll see you down the road and hopefully it'll be on another video